Nedzad Biborovic and his production supervisor are angry. Biborovic is a Bosniak who works for the food production business Akova Impex. One of its biggest products is chicken pate. The company is one of the biggest employers in Bosnia, but now its new factory is standing idle. The 10 million euro facility was meant to boost exports to neighboring Croatia. But since July, business has come to a crashing halt. It was a growing business. And we all, every day, even now, we're seeing the emails from the customers asking what happened to your chicken, why don't have your products anymore. It was great product, it was good price. But I don't know what to answer them. Croatia joined the EU in July. Now it's subject to import regulations, especially on food. Europe insists on common state controls for consumer protection with all its trading partners, including Bosnia. Our government didn't make possible, didn't prepare everything, didn't prepare papers, didn't prepare stamp that will guarantee that our product is ready for European Union. That, that's, that's why. Sarajevo, the Bosnian capital. The country is home to Bosniaks, Croats and Serbs, and ethnic divisions still remain 18 years after the end of the war. But do Bosnia's wrangling politicians plan to ignore rules that apply to 500 million consumers in the EU and risk damaging businesses in their own country? We try and find out. Lyubomir Kalaba, a Serb, is the director of Bosnia's state veterinary office. He's in charge of stamping exports that meet EU standards. But he says he can't. Of course, we should have begun work a few years ago. But laws in Bosnia-Herzegovina have to be approved by the Serbian and Bosniak-Croat representatives. And all of this complicates the situation. So it's all about chicken products needing documentation for export to the EU. And it's the farmers who are worst hit. Abdullah Tutmic is a Bosniak who breeds poultry that supplies the pate factory. He's frustrated. We farmers work as hard as we can, but the state institutions simply don't do their job. The farmers feel they're getting a raw deal. Tutmic says he recently tried to get state subsidies for his farm. He says he spoke to a party official in the agricultural ministry who spelled out the terms in a written agreement. It says here, you'll get your money if you divert half the funds to the party. The other half will be yours. And from that I would have had to pay 15 percent to the middleman. A clear case of corruption. But Tutmich rejected the offer and instead built his new chicken breeding facility without state money. In the village, a neighbor approaches Tutmich. Here, try some fresh blueberries. Six euros for the whole pail. It's possible to live without corruption. We take Tutmich's claims to the agriculture minister of the Bosniak Croat Federation. The Croat denies the whole thing. People are accusing me to discredit my work, but these allegations have gone nowhere because I've made everything transparent. But what about the export problems? We could solve this problem in a day. The cabinet and the parliament could pass laws to that effect within a day. But there's no political will to do that. And then the minister shows us a campaign carried out by his ministry last year. It's for homegrown products like the ones his own companies conveniently sell, especially in the Bosniak-Croat region. These ethnic differences aren't as visible here in the picturesque Bosnian countryside. There's a Serbian flag here that's important to Vladimir Uzorac. The dairy farmer has 80 cows and automated milking facilities. 
but his stalls are half empty. And there are problems with milk exports to Croatia, just 50 kilometers away. Of course, it's a problem that our politicians don't manage to meet conditions. But the European Union does not force them to do that either. So, should the EU do the work that Bosnia's ethnically divided people and wrangling politicians can't, so that Bosnian farmers can continue to export to new EU member state Croatia? It sounds like a far-fetched hope. Nedzed Bibarovic, the Bosniak food production manager, isn't optimistic that things will change anytime soon. There's no war here anymore. We have fight, fight in uh, politics. I mean, we still have two or three sides, people that want to live together, people that doesn't want to live together. It's very difficult to find compromise and set everybody ready for a new future. A new future free from ethnic and political divisions and the tensions they provoke still seems a distant dream in Bosnia-Herzegovina. <laughs>